that's it, why he wanted to make it out there. <laughs> hey friends, what's up? We got Martian Games here today. We're gonna continue work on this cute fluffy cat game that we started a while back and put it on the back burner. But the other day we were having the urge to get back into making this cute little fluffy cat do funny things like knock stuff over. <laughs> We had started um, by making it so that it can push around this ball and we started to try to make some cloth physics for the fur but that didn't really work out too well so we just decided to put the cloth fur on, you know, on hold. <laughs> uh, but yeah. That's so cool. and then I went to move forward. Let's try speeding up again. And I think that's like a console to make sure it's steady. Oh no, you're slugging. Let's make a lesson. <laughs> I'm in it for the community lesson. It's just really hard to get up there. Uh, what was the other thing? Ooh. It was like. Oh yeah, this. So good. See the the angle of the chair catches our run toward it. First of all, let's make sure we can't get up. That's great. So, platformer, get up here, feeling good, jump, and then move. The cat is super skilled that you can jump straight up in the air, and then you can push <laughs> forward. And because of his fur, it, it works like a hang glider. And you can glider. glide anywhere you want. <laughs> a cat glider. Yeah, it's just a cat glider. We should have just a gliding level. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he jumps out the window like we're in a tall, really high story. Like building. drifting, like cars do and drifting. Like, and then you fly and you try to you try to destroy the city before you hit uh, sea level. <laughs> Okay, so there's no coffee table here, so I'm frustrated that I can't get onto the. Oh, we can put under the chair over there. So you need a movie center and a gaming center. This is, should be the movie center, probably, and then that console and this gaming stuff can move maybe to the fireplace area. That doesn't make any sense. Something like that. No sense. All Just right. take the console and throw it in the fireplace. <laughs> no, 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 but I don't know. Where would a fireplace be in relation to. The interior design. I think it seems right with the but TV, with the computer. Our gong chairs need to be a little wider. 
Alright, I'm gonna move this uh, centered with that couch a little bit more. And then, uh, I'm gonna nap Sam. You are? Hey, there's Kitty. She's just like, please come and hang out with me. <sighs> Wait, are you guys? Who is streaming tonight? Graham Weldon, are you streaming? <laughs> I think Ewok said that she might be streaming tonight. I'm gonna go check her stream out finally. So long as I'm still conscious of that hour. I think what I'm gonna do is take a break, go eat some food, and I don't know about an actual nap or not, but. Um, snack, nap, and then come back and maybe play something or watch the stream. Graham is streaming tonight. Okay, then I'll have to come Yay. visit your stream. Oh, hey there, Justin. Thanks so much, friend. Yay! Oh, yeah, this um, was just an experimental game. We had this, like, 3D kitty cat uh, asset in this cute living room scene. And so Martian Games has been giving me C Sharp and Unity lessons, and so this was just an, uh, an opportunity to learn a little bit. He's gonna go take a nap because he's all tuckered out after all that. <laughs> hey there, Watery Tire. Welcome, friend. So yeah, we basically got this living room scene. We're, we're making it bigger and spreading it out so that there's more cool stuff here. And then basically this white kitty cat is going to just knock stuff over. And today we learned how to do some ray casting so that the, we could like, I don't know. We worked on the blend tree for the cat and the cat's animations. And yeah, the ray casting, we did a little ray casting lesson. <laughs> we made a bunch of these items wider and stuff without being taller so that the cat could like walk around on him. The wooden part, only twice as big. Yeah, you know, I'm just kind of trying to learn Unity, so any any chance I get, you know, anytime Martian Games is willing to teach me a bit of Unity, which is pretty much any time, just sometimes I'll feel bad, I don't want to ask for help when uh, we're like, you know, busy. <laughs> I'm always like busy trying to pay the bills, but it's like then some days I'll be like I wish I was like I wish I knew more and so we like to make a point to like do lesson time. Alright, this one does have the rigid body on it. This one does too. Oh, anyway. um. Sweet. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we had made a, a pizza earlier. It's like one of those pizzas that you cook in the oven, and pretty sure what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that pizza, I'm gonna stick it back in the oven where it belongs, I'm gonna cook it for like a second time, and it's gonna be extra delicious. Pretty much sold myself on that idea. <laughs> so yeah, when we come back to this, what I think I'll do, I don't want to move this stuff around too much because I'm gonna maybe just. We're gonna work on this some more, but I think we got the layout a lot better. We're gonna try to make it so that this stuff isn't so scrunched up and maybe we'll make one more row of this wooden stuff instead of so much gray type of thing. And we'll just try to space out and this will be our first level for the kitty game. Oh, let me press play and I'll show you what we got so far. Uh, last time we had done one session of learning how to with this project, we're like, okay, we'll make a kitty game, and we didn't have any furniture in here at all. <laughs> we had just a couple of balls. We had these two balls and the kitty, and then today we got all this cool furniture in here and made some of the objects interactable. And we worked on making it like a perfect height so that you have to like jump up on a chair for. You have to like be strategic about how in the hell are you gonna get places here. Yeah, so the chair just needs to be wider. We'll make that chair a little wider. Um, you can also get on there if you're real, I mean, it just depends, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you can see that it's a challenge and not necessarily a good way, but we'll make um, it better. I want to show you guys that this... Another thing is that the chairs could be a sticky surface, so things like carpet and certain surfaces can be sticky. 
So we gotta make it so we gotta like go up on a chair and then up onto the table and then we'll make all this other stuff knock knock offable. <laughs> knock it offable. Sweet. Alright. Bam. And the walls are just invisible right now, but there are walls. And someone had a great idea earlier. They're like, why don't you make some stuff that like dangles like a chandelier or something where the cat could like jump and like stick onto it? <laughs> How hard do you think that would be? The dangling physics? Yeah, we have this dangling like rope, uh, this obi rope stuff that we used in Purgatory Fell, where the letters were dangling. Yeah, oh, maybe in a sequel. <laughs> Thanks, Watery Tire says it's so cute. Thanks, man. Well, yeah, we just took all these uh, Cinti furniture and put this in here today, and we had this cat from a long time ago. Like, we'll just collect assets when they're on sale, and then, you know, if ever we're like, oh, what should we do today? We had started this a while back, and. I had, couldn't wait to get back into this, but I just had to wait until we had some time. You can have a lot of mirrors, too, like when you're running oh. on um, some of the, the bars. That's knockoffable. Like that. that one we did. <laughs> you can knock off the bonsai tree and kick it around, so it's like the yeah, pink fruit. balls. I don't know what happened to the fruit, but it was working there. Because we duplicated it, and I deleted the wrong one. That's one that doesn't work. I think uh, it needs a static. Maybe static. <laughs> Sweet friend, do you guys want to work on this some more tomorrow? Tomorrow's my Saturday, so I, I didn't really have any plans. Of course, uh, every day we're just playing it by ear. I've been trying to get in the mood to stream more during this quarantine-cation time period, but I have been working a lot in Blender and uh, just not streaming as much. Um, I've been streaming regular amount, just not more than usual. Yay! Thanks for checking it out with me, friends. And uh, Hobart was like, what about making the chair movable so that the cat needs to find his way to the table surface by moving them? They'll be movable. Wait, do you think the chair will be movable later? Because we're making a lot of the stuff pushable, push-offable. What we could do is have the chairs be static when the cat is jumping, but not if he's uh, grounded. That would work. Then the cat... Oh yeah, that's another good idea. Make maybe make the lights um, turn on when he jumps on certain things, like the stove or the computer and things. I love yeah. that idea. We had the same bedroom scene uh, in. Our cat does that all the time. I yeah. Get, I put my computer to sleep and it'll jump on the keyboard and wake it up. And yeah. Then I have to put it to sleep. Yeah. Like, that's a really good uh, mischief idea. Yeah, we should. Oh, that'd be great. <laughs> Maybe we'll have um, we'll have the energy bill, and every time the cat turns on the computer, the energy bill there goes we up. Go. Yeah, so yeah, <laughs> have to run over the controller, for the TV, the, the Nintendo, turn all the electronics on, and get a reward for running up the electrical. Yeah. So that, that is something <laughs> cats will do. You oh, I love it when they do that. <laughs> 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 they just blame it on the cat. Sweet! Alright, friend. Well, I just wanted to say thank you very much to everyone who stopped by the stream today. I know I'm not normally on at this hour, so maybe it's probably people aren't like expecting to see me around. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to say thanks for showing up, and I'll probably be back like tomorrow or something. I don't know when I'll be streaming next, but sometime soon. Let's go ahead and raid a friend. Yay! Thanks again for hanging out! Maybe I'll see you guys tomorrow. Works anymore. Here. There it is. <laughs> Hopefully the credits turns on in a second. <laughs> I'm like trying to like, I, I redid some of my scenes recently, so things are a little bit different now. There's the credits. Cool. Yay! Alright friends, I'll see you tomorrow.